Hi boys and girls, this week is a very special episode of my show. I've received an email from Paul in Catford who has asked for my advice on dealing with the loss of a pet. He tells me he had to put down his cat, Alfie, a Bengal leopard. Well, leopards are big and heavy so no wonder you had to put him down. In fact, I don't understand why you were carrying him in the first place. Oh, I see. You mean the vet put him to sleep, don't you? Well, you have my sympathy. My gorgeous outfit today is in memory of my late Angora rabbit, Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun. Shagged himself to death, poor thing. Now he's stiff all over. A bit like Nicolas Cage. And he's buried at the bottom of my garden, which sadly Nicolas Cage isn't. I'd like to buy another bunny to replace him, but my local pet shop owner is still banging on about that restraining order. But isn't it a coincidence that you had a cat and live in Catford? Now Alfie's gone, you might want to move to the Isle of Dogs, or Canary Wharf, or Hampster Dam, or Budgie Sultaton. Oh, a budgie with its soft, downy feathers and... Oh, where was I? Oh yes, getting over the death of a pet. Well, it hurts a lot, as did the time when I grazed my wrist. I covered it with a plaster and wore my watch over it. It got better very quickly. Why? Because time heals all wounds. Many people like a pet for company. After all, no man is an island. Except the Isle of Man, of course. So some bereaved owners find it helps to get another pet. Others like to stuff their deceased pet and place it in a display case. Taxidermy, they call it. And apparently you need the knowledge to do it properly. But I think taxidermy's a bit weird, don't you? And talking of David Tredinick, see you next Tuesday. And remember, keep it light. If you've been affected by any of the issues in today's programme. Hope the rest of you enjoyed this week's show. Leave a comment down below. Please remember to click the like button and subscribe to my channel.